All right, hey guys, how's it going? So, um, I wanted to make a quick video before I head out. I have uh, I spent a long weekend in Waikiki. Uh, anybody on island want to come out? I'm pretty easy to find. Uh, I'll be staying at the, the Hyatt Place. I'll be around. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm still setting up. It's uh, got got a lot of things to figure out where to go, where to put. But um, I wanted to make this video before I went out. Um, this will be where I do most of my videos, unless I'm talking about my fabulous beard, beard struggle. Um, so back in February of 2019, excuse me, 2020, um, right when the virus was just starting to hit, get here, uh, I was lucky enough to make it to Comic-Con, amazing Comic-Con in Honolulu. And great experience. It's not as big as some of the Comic-Cons, but I thought that's, that, that's better because it's more intimate. Um, not as crazy as some of the ones I have been to. But, um, so I got some signatures done and uh, I met with some cool artists, some cool writers, etc. Uh, sent my stuff off to CGC because I was able to get it authenticated when I was uh, able to get them to sign my stuff. So here we are. I'm going to show off my, uh, the late, well, the latest editions that I can at least unpack. I want to be very careful with these packages. You're not quite, yeah, yeah, I don't think I have to worry about really damaging. CGC is really good about how they, uh, how they package. See, right there on top, nice big thick piece of cardboard so that, oh! All right. Woo, so, looks like we got some good things. Let's check them out. DC Year of the Villain special. Check that bad boy out. Woo! Oh, that was signed by Jim Chung. Um, for those of you that don't know, that's the Batman who laughs. That's not Joker. That's a, a, a Batman from an alternate dimension who kind of became the Joker. Um, <clears throat> Ooh, year of the special number one. Here is same one. Slightly higher grade. Oh. Green Lantern number one. This one, um, <clears throat> this was also a Jim Chong. Justice League number one from the uh, from August 2018. Check this out. This is also a Jim Snung. Um, Scott Snyder did the story on this, but uh, I love sketches. It's great, right? Uh, let's see what else we got. Another Justice League number one. Boom. Slightly lower grade. No biggie. Green Lantern number one. Same thing. Jim Chung. 9.6. All right, <clears throat> Guilty Pleasure, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number 25. Signed by none other than the Green Ranger himself and the White Ranger and the, the many other variations. Although, you know, uh, life got in the way and I kind of quit following the show after Mighty Morphin. Um, this is a, a very specific, he only, only um, Jason David Frank has the rights to this cover image and it's, it's extremely rare. Uh, this is him as Lord Dracon, with a little remark he wrote in there for me. Ugh. Absolute Carnage number one. Now, wow, this was great. So I got to meet Donnie Cates, hilarious guy, love him to death. Um, uh, him and his, uh, his, his gorgeous wife, um, uh, they... They did a little private meeting, and um, I was lucky enough to to be able to attend. And um, Miss Megan Hutchinson, she did the uh, uh, she did the coloring uh, for this particular piece, and this is one of the few Donny Cates um, art art covers. Uh, he did the story, of course, but he also did this, and his wife did the coloring, and um, he uh, bam, right. But check this out. Right there in between Absolute and Carnage, he wrote... 
absolute fucking carnage. You gotta love that. And, and CGC let it fly. They they even threw it in on on the description. Oh. Anyway, uh, yeah. If you ever get a chance to meet Donnie um, uh, or his wife Megan, uh, they're a good time. They're a good time. Um, Spider get it. Number one. All right. You know the whole Spider Verse. Well, kind of leads into this. And this was a nice little. Um, uh, Philip Tan cover, and it was a kind of a tribute to the Todd McFarlane Spider-Man number one from the early 90s, which, you know, we all have eight copies of that one because, you know, <laughs> they sold them like that. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number zero. All right. Now this one signed by both the Black Rangers. Um, uh, Walter Jones signed this on in August of 2018, and uh, Johnny Young Bosch, he signed it in February of this year. Uh, but, bam. Pretty awesome, I think. Uh, whew, another Donny Cates story. Um, this is a Yoon cover. Silver Surfer Black. That's just kind of awesome. You got Galactus firing on him in the middle of a city. Ooh. Batman number one from Rebirth. Whew. That was another full of tan. Ooh. Ah, now this one's great. So this is an absolute carnage number one. Um, now I got Todd McFarlane to sign this one because even though he didn't have anything to do with this story, uh, Todd McFarlane was one of the main co-creators of Venom. Uh, without Todd, there'd probably be no Venom. Um, one of the backstories to that was Todd, uh, Mr. McFarlane, or T. McFarlane. Uh, he, um, he was sick and tired of drawing Spider-Man in the black costume. Um, he, he wanted to do the red and blue, the, the classic that we all grew up with, that we love. Um, and him and, uh, my memory fails me right now. I want to say it was Mark Bagley, uh. I could be wrong. Correct me, please. Don't argue, but just, you know. Um, I've been blown up too many times, so my brain doesn't work as well as it used to. The um, Anyway, they wanted, you know, they worked together, they created Venom, and it took off from there. Uh, oh, once another one. I got signed by Todd McFarlane. S same reason. This is Venom number seven. This is the first appearance of uh, Dylan Brock in a cameo. Uh, uh, he... Uh, he appears, his first full appearance is in number nine. Um, but oh, look at that. Venom with the Infinity Gauntlet. It, it, it's just, it's gorgeous. And it's the Virgin cover. Eh, amazing. Oh. So I made a complete noob mistake, all right? So while I was talking to Mr. Uh, Jason David Frank, Green Ranger, White Ranger, Lord Dracon, um, I was not paying attention, and I, sh I inserted the, the comic right after he signed it. I just inserted it right back into the, um, the sleeve, and it smeared, as you can see. It smeared the heck out of his signature. He, um, he, was, he was a real nice guy. He actually, even though it was totally, totally my fault, um, he hooked me up um, with another book that, uh, oh, uh, let's see, where is it at here? Do, 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 do. Powers of X. Huh, let's see what I did with it. Uh, so, full disclosure, I tried to make another uh, video and, oh, I made the mistake of not putting it on airplane mode. So I got a call and it messed up my whole video. But this was what he gave me in exchange. Well, not in exchange. Jason David Frank, nice guy. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet on the convention circuit. Um, that's all I can really say about the man. He's just absolutely one of the nicest guys. Um, so if you ever get a chance, if you were ever a Green Ranger, White Ranger, Tommy, Fan. check him out he uh he's he's doing plenty of other projects of course um anyway 
I gotta get going. I gotta get ready and get packed. Uh, I'm gonna go to the spend some, spend the weekend in Waikiki. Drinks. Well, there's not gonna be much dancing because you know social social distancing and things like that. But uh, still, enjoy the scenery. I'm anyway. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, there's gonna be more beard videos. There's gonna be more comic videos. Um, I'm gonna show off some collectibles, things like that. Some of this stuff, uh, some of the stuff I will sell, um, pretty much my whole collection, um, I'm not gonna say is for sale, but for the right price, hey, some of this stuff I am willing to let go. Um, some of it, yeah, I can definitely make deals on. Some of it, mm, too close to my heart. I'm not gonna let it go. <laughs> but I'm not stupid either, all right? There's still bills that gotta be paid. Um, anyway, guys, love you lots. Hope to talk to you again soon.